Okay, I'm going to try to show uh, how I have things connected to um, my flight controller and am achieving GPS yaw. Now, this is not fully operational. It's it's actually an old PixHawk 1 uh, 2.4.8 connected uh, to the two GPSs. If you saw my previous video relate, that related to some experimenting with the GPS uh, moving base configuration, that's the same setup except that I've connected the port ones to the, the PixHawk. So in fact, here's the diagram. This is exactly like the diagram I had for configuration four when I was experimenting, but I now have connected UART one. Uh, well, let's look at this one really first. The moving base is connected to the normal GPS port, serial port on the PixHawk, which is serial three. And then the Rover, uh, the second GPS is connected to serial port four. Um, these are going to be operating at 460, 800 baud. That's the default that's set up by RG Rover. Uh, this port, because I've got these, the corrections coming in at 115, 200 baud, will be operating at 115, 200. So there are a few changes I have to make in use center for this to work because the, the, at the moment, the RG Rover software, which of course is beta or dev version 4.1.0, is, uh, is setting this up at 460, 800. Um, you know, so keep in mind, that's beta software, firmware. We don't know what might change in the future. This, this video could be completely obsolete at some point, but at the moment, this is what I've got. So we're over uh, on looking at Mission Planner. Um, I don't I haven't set the GPSs up the way I'm going to show you, but by default, I do have an RTK fixed on GPS two, which is the rover. So it's getting moving base uh, corrections from the moving base. The moving base, which is on the first GPS, is not getting corrections from the fixed base. That's because the ball rate's wrong. But um, so. Let's take a look at things here. First, in the config, I have made the applicable parameters favorite, so they're all on the top here. But if you follow the instructions on the GPS y'all instruction page, uh, if you just Google RG Pilot GPS y'all, you will find links, at least at the moment, to this page, GPS for y'all. Uh, also known as moving base. These are the settings that uh, we need to set. We were, we're not using 4.0, so this is not needed anymore. This is what we have uh, for 4.1 and higher. So those are settings that I have done here in Mission Planner. Um, so I'm not going to go into great detail on those. They're straight by the book, exactly what is specified there. Um, so auto config is set to one, which is what one of the items that, that, that that's indicated we should set, which lets the RG pilot configure everything. So if I come over and look at my two GPSs now, and uh, let's look at the generation nine configuration view, and look at our UART two setup you see the baud rate is 460, 800. And of course, that'll be the same thing over here. We know that those are set the same because we are getting communication between the two GPSs. The, the correction information is coming across from this remote base, a moving base, to the uh, rover. But my corrections from the base cannot come in because I need this to be 115, 200. So what we need to do is simply turn off the auto config. And now the, uh, I should have demonstrated, but if while that was on, if I change these baud rates, they change right back. You just, you know, the autopilot is overriding them over and over apparently. So now that I've stopped there, I don't have all the config turned on. I now can indeed change this to 115, 200, set in RAM, set in flash, and send the configuration. And 
notice we immediately started getting corrections from the base, from the uh, the base that's on the uh, you know land, the fixed base. So that's good. Now this still shows fixed, but if I leave it for a few seconds, it'll go away because we are not getting corrections from the uh, moving base because our baud rates don't match. We've got 115, 200, and 460, 800. So I need to fix this also to 115, 200. Uh, set in RAM, set in flash. And I'm going to just wait a second so you'll see that this goes away uh, just for grins. Um, it should anyway. Because I haven't made this change has not taken effect yet. We're still at 46800. And uh, so this is not able to communicate corrections over to it. There we go. We lost our fixed status. But now when I send this config change and make it back at 115200, which matches this one, we come right back to fixed. So both GPSs are in good shape right now. So if I come back over and look at uh, Mission Planner on the data screen, both G GPSs show RTK fixed. So we're getting good heading information and we're getting good uh, location precision. If I look at Mavlink Inspector and uh, GPS2 raw y'all, I have a number here that actually corresponds to my heading uh, times 100. So I'm, I'm heading, I'm, I'm almost due west when you can see that in the diagram, 268.66 degrees or so, which is what we show up here as well. So everything seems to be working well. Um, let's see, I did change this uh, suggested by Yuri um, that the GPS rate, also RG Simple says this as well, is at 100 milliseconds instead of the normal 200 milliseconds. So we're updating at a tenth of a second. Um, and let me see. I will occasionally see this go to 65,535, you know, which is an error indication. Um, it may be that this old Pixhawk can't keep up. I don't know what the trouble might be, but it's been very stable uh, this evening as I've, I've worked with it a little bit. Um, I have a brand new Cube, uh, Pixhawk Cube Orange that I have, have yet to uh, touch, really, that I plan to install um, before I actually put my rover back into use out in the field. But... Um, just to demonstrate that this will hold if I restart the autopilot, I'm going to redo a pre-flight reboot. Uh, I, it disconnected my telemetry. I'm going to connect back again. And so the autopilot is, is booting up. Well, i to wait for that to go away. We came back with both GPSs uh, and uh, everything looks good. Um, so I, I believe that it, in the current beta status and the way things are set, it is possible to make this configuration work. Um, it's just not fully automated by Arduino Pilot because the baud rate is set up on UART 2 for 460, 460 I also, when I was working with this yesterday, I found that um, the protocols in and out for UART 2, which what we want them to be is like this, both the RTCM3X for in and out. Mainly, we actually need out on, well, we need in and out on this one because it's receiving the base, the fixed base corrections and it's sending the moving base corrections over to here. And so here we want to make sure we have the in protocol turned on. Uh, doesn't really matter about the out, but it doesn't hurt anything. Well, you notice it's not on there. So um, what I found yesterday, although to be honest, I may have had the GPSs reversed. At one time, I was letting this GPS be my uh, moving base and this be my rover. That is, I had the had this reversed the other way around. And um, at some point anyway, I had to check to I ended up without having the 
these protocols on in one place or another and I had to do that as well. That's the only changes I had to make from what RG Pilot sets up was to be sure the protocols were right on the in and out and to set the baud rate to what I wanted it to be. So just my thinking on this, of course, from the development the guys are, do a great job and I know they will come up with the best option. But one thing you notice, the baud rate, as we see over here in U Center, is 460, 800. Uh, so that is not the baud rate that is set up for uh, the serial three baud here, which is the GPS port, is set to 115, not 460. But so, so right now the beta software is ignoring these settings and just putting it at 460, 800. It's also, there is no parameter that specifies the, the baud rate between these GPSs. That, that doesn't go into the flight controller at all, but it is still set up by the flight controller and it's being set up at 460, 800. So one thing I'd like to see, just my thinking anyway, is to have, have, a, have parameters that set these baud rates and then, I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter, but I would think we you would want the baud rates that are specified here for the serial ports to also be correct. Now, I do realize that they need to be fast because of the extra data, so there may be a warning over here or something that it should be set to a high rate, but uh, seems as like we would want to have that still uh, a valid parameter. But uh, anyway... And uh, so that's kind of, that's it.